everybody. I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to come at you here mid-January and talk to you uh, beginners, especially somebody who just got that banjo for Christmas or just got that dulcimer, Merlin, whatever you got, any instrument, any beginner musician, okay? Uh, you've been playing now for a couple of weeks and you've probably had some harsh reality set in about the difficulty of learning an instrument. Now, this is not for musicians who've already played other instruments and got an instrument. This is for those beginners. Um, I wanted to come here and give you just a little bit of a pep talk because uh, I don't want you to get discouraged. And that's what happens around about the end of January for a lot of folks. And uh, it would be a shame for you to put it down because I'm here to tell you some good news, okay? Uh, and give you a, little, a couple of tips too at the same time, all right? So the good news is if you stick with it, I promise you, if you just stick with it, you will bring so much joy to yourself, okay? And possibly others here, okay? So um, first of all, if you're new to the channel and have recently subscribed, thank you for that. I appreciate that. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe for lots of lessons and um tidbits of my life and things like that. Um, but I teach claw hammer banjo, two finger banjo, mountain dulcimer, and seagull merlin. Um, but again, this is for everybody, okay? Uh, number one, your best friend in the whole world right now should be this. Not necessarily this kind, but an electronic tuner, okay? These things are not expensive. About 15 bucks will get you a good one. Okay, and it goes on the end of your instrument. Now, I guess this wouldn't work for piano, huh? But piano's already in tune. <laughs> this is for stringed instruments here. Um, you can either clip it onto your instrument or sit it down on your instrument, and it picks up the vibrations and uh, gets you in tune there, okay? So this is your best friend. Before you play, pick this up, tune, okay? Every single time. I don't care if you played it three hours ago. Do it again. Um, with stringed instruments, weather changes, humidity. Um, I have a, a wood stove out front, okay, that keeps our front rooms warm. <coughs> so my instruments are kept back here, and it's a lot cooler back here. If I go to play and take an instrument out there, I will, within a few minutes, have tuning changes, okay, because of the difference in weather and temperature, not weather, temperature. Uh, but, okay, so that right there is a huge tip, all right? That's your friend. That'll keep you happy, all right? Number two, if you got a banjo, use a mute, okay? That'll keep your family happy. <laughs> uh, and, you know, mute is simple. Put a rag in the back of your... Uh, uh, right behind your head there, right behind the bridge, put a rag there and dampen that, dampen that down a little bit. Your family will thank me. Um, but for everybody out there who got those instruments, please don't give up. Okay. Number one, if you got a stringed instrument, your fretting hand, the hand that you press down is probably a little sore right now. And that's okay. I promise you that will go away. Um, and it will get better. Now, there's lots of things you can do to help that, um, but I'm not going to go into those things. But uh, other than keep practicing, okay? Yes, you're going to get sore fingertips. Um, if the action, which is the height of your strings off of the fretboard of your instrument, is really high, then it can be a difficult thing. And there are things you can do to lower your action to make it a little easier. You can also put lighter strings, lighter gauge strings on your instrument. So let's say you're playing a banjo and you got heavy or medium strings, you can get light gauge strings that are thinner and easier to press down, okay? If you're playing a dulcimer or a merlin, take that double melody string and just Take off one string, okay? It's going to make it a lot easier as a beginner to start playing, okay? Um, now, also, don't compare yourself to others. Don't do it. There's no reason for it. Why would you do that? 
Are you like everybody else? No. Do you come in with the same background and the same amount of practice time available and the same family? I mean, come on. Don't don't compare yourself to others. This is your journey. <clears throat> Sorry. We are all getting over uh, nasty, nasty stuff here. I'm on steroids right now. As a matter of fact, probably see the glassy eyes and everything, the flushed face. Um, but <clears throat> don't compare yourself with others, okay? This is your journey, and um, you need to get off all the internet and all that stuff to where you're not paying attention to what other people are doing, okay? You get your material, whether you get it from me or someone else, does not matter, okay? I have a lessons website, banjoeliminated.com. Don't feel like you need to go there and join. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if you want to, check it out. But uh, get your material, okay? Get your best friend, all right? Sit down and work with it and try to be consistent, okay? Do you need to practice every single day? No, not as a beginner. Please don't, okay? <clears throat> what you need to do is about four times a week. You know, if you really want to do more, okay, that's fine. Remember, this is your journey, but I recommend about four times a week. And as a new beginner, maybe about 20 minutes at a time, okay? Try to have a little bit, um, give yourself leeway too, because you don't, don't put a lot of pressure on yourself, okay? You want to learn this. It takes a long time and it takes work. And you're finding out right about now, probably, that it does take work and it's not as easy as it looks, okay? Um, just like anything else, <clears throat> Playing an, a musical instrument, there's a lot involved in it. It takes some skill, and it takes a lot of practice and work to be able to do it, okay? So just have some patience with yourself. Do things in small chunks, okay? So, and you don't need to be trying to play Bach right now, okay? I hope you realize that. You need to be playing simple, s simple songs, things like that, okay? Um... I recommend to a lot of people to start out with nursery rhymes and people go, I don't want to do that. I'm a man or I don't have any kids or it's not about that. I want you to realize it's not about that. Nursery rhymes are simple melodies. A lot of times we already know them and they just walk up and down the scale. They're usually very simple. Okay. So that can give you a little boost. If you're playing Mary Had a Little Lamb on day one or two, ooh, that can give you a little boost, okay? So what we want to do is we want to help ourselves out by not over, you know, not trying to play very hard arrangements or anything like that when we're first starting out. Easy stuff, okay? Um, with all the stringed instruments that I play, chords are fun to start out with because right away you can be playing and playing along with songs that once you learn a couple of chords and can transition between those chords a little bit, you can be playing along with stuff. You can be singing along. Yes, that's another skill in and of itself. But <clears throat> some people sort of naturally have that while others have to work at it. I had to work at it a lot. I'm still, my voice as far as singing is not great, but I'm able to sing with stuff, okay? Um, and that was, that took a little bit of work for me way back when, um, to sort of flip that switch. But <clears throat> I just wanted to come at you and, and let you know not to be discouraged. Don't get down. Um, I promise you, if you just keep it up and keep working towards it, you can, you can reach those goals of learning to play a new instrument. Um, so I hope that the, these things aren't happening to you and that you're just enjoying the process because that's another part of this, the whole mental aspect of it. People don't think about that, okay? You got to get your mind right. If you go into this thinking you're going to be a superstar tomorrow, well, come on, have a little bit of common sense here. It takes time. Um, it takes work. So when you go into practice, have your mind right, okay? What are you doing this for? Why Why did you pick up an instrument, okay? Why? Think about that. Did you pick it up to learn a new skill? If you did, that's great. Did you pick it up because you think 
uh, it might bring you pleasure uh, and just inner peace and reduce your stress levels uh, to learn a new instrument, great. It'll do all those things. It can, if you'll let it. It's all up here, okay? Don't get caught up in this whole, I got to do this this week, this this week. I, I got to be progressing and I'm not progressing fast enough and blah, 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 blah. Don't, don't get caught up in that, okay? You're on your own journey. And um, I've seen students over the years, I've been teaching stringed instruments since 2012 to people, banjo. Um, I started teaching other instruments later. But um, I've seen people do amazing things. And I've seen people take a short time to do it. And I've seen people take longer to do it. In the end, does it matter how long it takes you? No, you're doing this. Remember those reasons you're doing this for, okay? Um, you may want to play with your family and sing. You know, you may want to play at church. I get a lot of people who have the desire to play hymns and play at church. And, you know, for those who have that desire, you know what I'm talking about, about the feeling that will give you. Um, and how beautiful it is. Psalm 154. Psalm 154. Um, stringed instruments, okay? Praise him uh, with stringed instruments. So I just wanted to come at you and uh, sort of hopefully give you a little pep talk. You can do this. I tell you, you can. Um, if you desire it, you can do it. So anything you've ever worked for in your life, um, you know, you had to put in some work, right? Well, this is your work, but you can enjoy the process. It doesn't have to be terrible. I enjoy every aspect of practicing and playing, um, even the tedious stuff. I enjoy it. Now, I don't read standard music notation, so that's probably why I really enjoy it, but no. Um, I always had a problem with that. I just, I tried it when I was about 18 playing guitar and stuff, wasn't a fit for me. But I don't want you to get down about that. If you have a hard time reading tablature and things of that nature, you don't have to do that either. You can do it all right here. Um, so, all right, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope that you're not putting those instruments down yet, okay? Keep picking them up. Keep practicing. You're going to reach your goals, okay? And you're going to be happy about it, all right? So, before I go, I just want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.